Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a subscribe button. Everything from green screen effects to something real simple like this where it just shows up on the screen to a subscribe button with animation. And then finally, one that has a combination of things including animation, scaling, and so forth. So let's go ahead and see how we could actually do this one by one. And so the first one we're going to do is the easiest because it's already using pre-existing images or videos for a subscribe button. And in this case, we're going to be using a subscribe video that is a green screen. And so the best place I recommend you go is pixabay.com. They have tons of great images and videos and they're all free. And so what you're going to do here is just go up to the search bar, type in subscribe or subscribe button, and then under the categories, just choose video and you'll see a variety of videos with green screens already available for you. And so I've already downloaded one and all you have to do is drag it over to your playlist. And once you've done that, drag your main video clip down here and it's going to be on the video track one. And then the next thing you want to do is add another video track above that. And all you have to do is right click on your mouse and add video track. And now we have a video track above it. And so here we're going to go ahead and drag down our green screen subscribe video. So I have it right here. And now if I play it, there is our green screen. That is a great subscribe video. However, since it is a green screen, it covers our entire video below it. So how do we actually get rid of the green part? Well, all we have to do is use a chroma key filter. So you go here to your filters tab, go to the plus sign, you go into the videos category and then type in chroma key. And in this case, there's three different chroma keys filters, but we're going to use the simple one because I think that works best and it's the easiest to use. Just go ahead and double click on it. And now we have our chroma key. So we look here, looks pretty good. And if you notice, if there's still some green uh, outline around your video or these images here, just go ahead and play with the distance. So if you increase it, it will decrease the amount of green outline, but you don't want to add too much because it's going to actually make your other video images disappear like it did there. So just play around with it and find one that works best for your video. So I think like around 38% or maybe 40% might work well for this one. Yeah, so around that much. So let's go ahead and look at this. So there is our green screen video with no green screen. And we have our subscribe ninjas. And so that's the very first one. And you can use a pre-existing image as you want. But I really feel having a video green screen subscribe intro looks a lot cooler than just having a simple image. So that's the very first and easiest way to add a subscribe button or video to your clips. So the second subscribe button is going to be fairly simple. It's just going to be a subscribe button and it's really not going to do anything else. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go up here to open other. You're going to choose color and leave the color as transparent and then say OK. And now you notice your entire screen goes black. So all you have to do is make sure that you hold down your mouse cursor, your left mouse cursor, drag this down here. And now we have this little color clip portion right here. So now we'll go ahead and add a filter. Go to the filters tab, go to plus, and then to on video, type in text, and we'll add a simple text. And now we have our text right here. Let's go ahead and type in our subscribe. And that's super huge, but we're gonna fix that here in a moment. So here on the text filter, you could actually resize and reposition this. So we'll go here to the corner, just resize this and then we'll also reposition it. So now we actually want to add a box or a border around our text. So all you have to do is go here to background and here you already have some preset colors or you could add your own custom color. But since this is going to be a subscribe button for YouTube, we'll choose red. Let's say select and now we have our subscribe button. But if you notice, it's not quite there yet. Uh, there's still not space between the beginning of the text and the end of the text. So I want to add a little bit of space there. And the easiest way I find to do that is to simply go to your text and put in a space manually. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this so you get a better look. So we'll go ahead and blow this up much bigger. 
So let me show you that again. So before I had this space, let's go ahead and show you how close it is. And you notice like the text is right there in the edge at the beginning, at the end. And so if you want some space before that and after, just simply go to the text and add a space with your space bar. And that's it. And so this looks a lot better when it's smaller. And then there's other things you could do as well. We currently have the default black outline. You could actually increase the thickness. And now you get an outline around your text. You could also play around with the padding as well, or even the horizontal and vertical. But I just reposition it myself manually whenever I want to do that. But if you notice, that's a really easy way for you to add a subscribe button. This is static. But on this next step, we're actually going to add some animation to it. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the next thing we want to do with this subscribe button is to actually add some animation. So in this case, I want my subscribe button to appear here from the left to the center. And then from here, it's going to go up to the top and disappear. And so the way we're going to do this is by using keyframes. And so the first thing you want to do is make sure your clip is selected. Then you can either go up here to the keyframes button or the keyframes tab down here. So I'll choose that. And now we're going to add a advanced keyframe. Now, if you're not familiar with how to use keyframes or even what they are, I did create an entire video on this. So if you were interested in that, I will leave that in the description area below. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the area where we want this subscribe button to appear in the middle. So in this case, I want it to appear about right here. Then I'm going to go up here and choose use keyframes for this parameter. And so now you'll notice that there's this new track basically at the bottom. So this is your advanced keyframes. And here is a keyframe for this position right here with the subscribe button in the middle. But what I want to do is go to the beginning of this. And I want it to not appear yet, you know, so basically it's going to come into the actual clip and move over to the middle. So here we're going to go ahead and add a keyframe. So we'll add a keyframe at playhead. If you notice right here in position and size. So now I have a keyframe here. So in this case, I want to move this over to the left. So it's completely gone. And now if I play this, it slides into the middle. And here I want it to actually disappear. To the top so all i have to do is either add another keyframe or if you move this it'll automatically add a keyframe for you so now i have three different keyframes so let's go ahead and look at this from the beginning so it slides in stays in the middle and then disappears to the top so if we go back to our timeline let's watch this again we'll play this comes into the middle and goes to the top now you could definitely play around with this. You know, you can make this longer if you want. All you have to do is extend the clip. So it's really up to you. And at the same time, if you head back over to your keyframes, you could also move the keyframes as well. So you can shorten or lengthen this however you want. And there's many different types of animations that you can use. But I really feel by using keyframes, that is the easiest way. But there's also another way that you could do this. You can use some pre-built keyframes. So if you go to your text filter, you'll notice there's some presets. But the only problem is whenever you use these presets, it's going to reset everything. So say, for example, I wanted to slide in from the bottom. If I choose that and play it, it does have the actual animation with the keyframes already set. But the thing is, it pretty much resets all the work that you did before. So that's why I wanted to show you how to do this from beginning to end and adjusting the keyframes yourself. So now let's head over to the final step where we kind of combine everything in a little more complex manner. And so in this last subscribe button, this is going to be a little bit more complex than all the others, but it's a combination of everything you've learned up to this point. So if you were able to do the subscribe button with animation, then this is going to be very similar, except we're going to add some additional layers to it. So the first one we want to do is go up here to open other, choose color, and we'll leave it as transparent. And just like we did before, we're going to drag this down to our video track. And now what we're going to do different here is instead of leaving it as transparent, we're going to go to color. And we can choose whatever color we want. But in this case, we're going to be choosing red for a subscribe button. 
and now you see that the entire screen is red which isn't exactly what we want so we want to add some shape to this so the next thing we want to do is go to our filters tab go to the plus symbol under video look for mask and it's going to be three different mask filters and the one we want is mask simple shape so we're going to choose that and now you'll notice a few things so the main things we'll look at is the shape there's rectangle ellipse triangle and then there's also diamond so in this case I want to use the rectangle and also I want to change the width as well so we're gonna go ahead and make this a rectangle so a little bit wider and also you notice like the edges or the borders are really fuzzy so the softness is at 20% we're gonna bring that down to zero so now it's gonna be sharp and then we also want to be able to move this and resize as we need we're gonna add another filter it's gonna be size and position so now we're gonna move our rectangle down here and obviously I'm making this a lot bigger because I want you to be able to see everything and I'm gonna go back to this mass simple shape and I'm gonna adjust the height a little as well and finally we want to add our text on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and add our simple text filter just like we did before I'm gonna type in subscribe all right and I'm also gonna adjust the size and position so almost there so here is our subscribe button and the difference between this one and the ones we made before is that this isn't primarily made just using the text filter with a different color background these are two different elements there is the actual mask itself and also the text so there's really actually there's probably three main elements if you really think about it and the size of position so now that we have our subscribe button we can now add additional animation so we're gonna do something very similar to what we did before by using keyframes but now instead of just manipulating one main filter we're going to manipulate two main filters so we go to our keyframes tabs and the first one we want to adjust is the simple shape the mask and so in this case just like we did before I want to go to where I want the button to appear so in this case right here in the middle I'm going to add an advanced keyframe right here so we'll go down here we we'll see that there is our keyframe and then at the beginning I don't want this square or this rectangle to appear yet so I'm gonna go ahead and make this zero and it added a keyframe here so let's look at this so there are rectangle appears awesome and then at the end I want it to disappear so we'll go ahead and make this zero again so let's watch this again so it appears and then it disappears and that looks fine you know we have this cool animation different from the other one and then it disappears but the thing is the text is already there and I want it to appear and not be there already so we'll go back to keyframes and in this case instead of choosing the mass simple shape we're going to choose our text filter and very similar to what we did before I'm going to go to where I actually want it to appear and if you're not familiar where your actual rectangle appeared, you could go back here. So look at your keyframes. Okay, this is exactly where I want it to be. So now I'm going to go back to the text filter. And if you add a keyframe here, it'll be at the exact same spot where the rectangle appeared on your mass simple shape filter. So now I want to go back to the beginning of the keyframe. And in this case, I don't want it to appear or whatever animations you want in this case I just wanted to like be really super small and be right here in the middle where the rectangle is so let's take a look at that cool and then just for fun at the end I wanted to scale super big so it's gonna go super big like this it's coming right at you all right so let's see how this looks like. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Let's watch this. Cool. And then, boom, disappears. 
Now, there's many other ways in which you can manipulate this. You know, you could definitely make this look better than what I had here or add more keyframes. Or even if you wanted to, you could actually extend this clip. And if you go back to your keyframes, you could move your keyframes around. So there's many things that you could do to enhance this. But just by looking at this, you're now able to add a subscribe button from existing ones. You can create your own that's static or has animation. Or you can have a combination of a lot of different effects all at once. So you can have a lot of fun with this, just creating your own subscribe button or using ones that have already been created for you. So if you've actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you create a subscribe button in Shotcut, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my Shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.